Hello everyone, welcome to your favorite YouTube channel, my project ideas. Today we are going to make a very interesting project which is based on one of the best tech stacks a person can use when he is in a full stack development part. So this is none other than Node.js. So we are going to make a project on the portfolio website, engineers, portfolios, good deal, right? So first, let's have a look at the requirements. I know you guys are very excited to see a project which is based completely on Node.js. So here we go. First, we require a text editor. I have used your VS Code. You can use Sublime Text. Depends on you which text editor you want to go for. We require an operating system to run our code. I have used your Windows 10 operating system. You can go for Linux, Unix, Mac OS, Windows 11. Again, depends on you. This project is based on HTML, CSS, JavaScript, React.js and Node.js. We have certain HTML files, many CSS files, many JS files. We have Node modules, we have Bootstrap and we are going to see that how multiple HTML files, CSS files are moduled together, how they are made into various components and how we are going to use it. So we will be seeing multiple files, multiple modules and multiple components. So we are going to discuss them one by one. I know you guys are very excited. First, I'll show you the working. I'll show you my website. So this is the website. You can see here it says, Hi, I'm Simran Patnaik, which is me. It says a front-end engineer. You can put, I am a full-stack engineer, but I've given you a front-end engineer because these projects are front-end projects. This is the link to my resume. Let me click it because it's a portfolio website after all. So I land into Google Drive. Here is my resume. A pause. Let it load. Uh, I have given the link actually to the drive. I should have given it here. But it's fine. Okay. You can understand. Right. So this is the resume. You can change the link. No issues. I'll show you how to change it. Don't worry. Then we have this GitHub. This will link to my GitHub. This is my GitHub. Then this is the link to my LinkedIn profile. See just how smoothly it's running. It runs very nicely. This is my LinkedIn profile. Then we have here the projects. Uh, these are random projects, but when you click here, you land into my GitHub. All the three projects. These are random projects. I've not given real projects here, but I'll show you how to change. <coughs> how you can put your own project. These are the skills. I have multiple skills more. You can add or delete. If you do not know any skill, you can delete. Then this is a con contact information. When you click here, mail me. So here, you, you will be landed to my mail. Okay? You will be landed to my mail. See, Simran Patnaik. Understood? So let's now dive into the code and we'll understand each component one by one. It's running. Okay. So let's move. Cool. Okay. Great. Now, first, to see here, these are the Node modules. Do not touch it. When you will be working on Node.js, these Node modules, they will be as it is. They will get implemented. So you need not touch the Node modules. Keep it. Keep it in mind. And there will be thousands and thousands of items, like 11,000, 12,000 items in a particular node module. No one knows what is there inside. I don't know each and every component. If you want to get into it, you can refer Google or you can refer any other documentation. It's no, not required to learn it. Then this is our index.html, the landing part of the website. Doctype HTML, the framework basically. You have the meta name as you put, the content is given. Then you have a name description, content is portfolio. And we have used here Google APIs for the fonts. You can see here we have given Google APIs and fonts also GStat. This is the again the link for the Google API for the Poppins family, the font. The font which I have used, it's not custom font. I have taken it from the Google API. The title is Simran Butnik. Where is it mentioned? Here. The title. See, Simran Butnik. I hope you can see it here. Simran Patnaik. Let's change it. Wait a minute. Let's go side by side. The only Simran. 
just load it once. Oh, there is some error. No issues. We'll resolve it again. Uh, where is my terminal? Just a minute. Give me one minute. Let us run it. See how I'm running the project. This is also important for you to learn. See how I'm running the project also. It's important. Okay. It's important for you to learn. Go into that particular drive. Then write npm start. Then your project will run accordingly. See, it started the develop deployment server. Then we will reach to the landing page. That is the portfolio website, which is similar but like. Let's see. Depends on your net as well. See, I've changed the title, so it changes to Simran. Got it? I changed the title recently. Now, let's move to the next. It says, if there is no script, you have to enable the JavaScript to run this app and the ID is root. Now, we'll move to source and in components, we have certain different components, like each and every part of the website each and every line, this is a header, this is the footer. So each and every part, this is the projects part, this is the resume part, everything is basically a component. So we are going to deep down into each component and we'll see. See, when I click on here projects, you go here to the projects part. When I click skills, you go to the skills part. When I see select contact, you go to the contact part. This is for your um, night light and day light. Night mode and day mode. Okay, light mode and demo, uh, night mode. Then let's go to the about. This is first we'll be learning about the JS. First let's see JS because CSS is quite easy. You can like directly refer it from the net, no problem. But JS is important. So we have imported the GitHub icon. See, I have not made any icon myself. Imported the GitHub icon from material UI icons, GitHub and LinkedIn from the material UI icons, LinkedIn. Then we have imported about from this portfolio. Imported about.css. How we have imported? See, this is imported here. Here that this part is exported from here. And it's imported here. Because you're going to use CSS here, right? Then here we have the certain, uh, this is a call, call function. We have certain parts here like name, role, description, resume and social. And what we are going to return, we have to return the uh, like the particular class name, the particular field in which you are working on. And the buttons are also set here. Like when you click on a button, a particular thing is done. So the buttons is also specified here. And the GitHub icon, the LinkedIn icon, these are made very uh, sensitive. Like when you click on it, you land to a different landing page. Like when I click on, I am talking about this. When I click on, where is it? Uh, GitHub. I land to the GitHub. So this is made very active. Got it? Now let's move to the see export default about. I said you that it is exported. Exported right here. Now the CSS part. In CSS, you have selected each and every component by using a selector. Then you have set the flex direction, the margin top. This is for the name. You've selected the color for the role. You have selected the margin top. This is about the contact. This is about the LinkedIn icon, the button outline. Then this is the media part where you have started the align items. Media part is basically for the, you can call the sensitivity. Uh, I mean the responsibility of your website. Like when you uh, just do it this way, it becomes sensitive. Let's see. It adjusts itself accordingly. So this is called being responsive. So you get to see this drop down when you click it, you get this thing. So this is responsive according to your resolution, according to the size. Suppose I'm using it on a laptop. So I get this whole screen. If I'm using it on a mobile phone, I get this. So a particular resolution is set. Okay. So I hope you understood. Uh, I hope you are with me till this point. Now what we are going to do is we are going to have the contact. In the contact part, what is the contact? The mail part, which I showed it to you. Here bigger here the contact part the mail me part this we are going to learn now. so 
you have imported contact from portfolio, then you again imported the contact or CSS and you have exported the contact. contact. So if the contact of email is not present, you have to return null. No. Or else what you have to do? You have to go inside that a particular thing will be linked, a particular mail ID will be linked and you will be reaching to that particular mail ID. I'll show you where I have linked it, I'll show you. Then in contact.css, you have a fresh direction column. Okay. Now let's have a look at the footer. Uh, in the footer, this is the footer.css. Again, the padding, the text alignment, the font size, font weight, color, everything is set. You can change it as per your choice, as per your visuality. In the JS part, we have given the reference to my uh, uh, GitHub account and we have this uh, class name as the link footer link. And we have first we have imported the footer.css and by default we have exported the footer. Then the header part. In the header, we have the nav bar. What is the nav bar? I know I suppose you know the nav bar. These are the nav bars. Okay. The top. Then you have a home page and title part. And the title is that part which I changed. I changed it to Simran Patnaik to Simran. That part is the title. And we are going to export the default header here. Header.css again the content margin width height is set. Now let's go to the nav bar. In the nav bar, what we have? In the nav bar, we have basically the display part. First, the brightness icon, the then the menu icon, the close icon. You got to know, na? The menu icon is this part. This one, the menu icon. This is the close icon. Okay. So this is set in this part. And then, and everything you we are going to get from the material UI. Which is custom made, you do not touch, you do not make a but you do not graphically design any item here. Then we uh, first we have the center nav, then we have the projects in which you can toggle between the projects, then we have the skills. First we have the projects, then we have the skills, then we have the contact, and we have buttons for each class. We have a particular LinkedIn attack attached, we have a GitHub attached for each and every project. Okay, and uh, the navbar.css here. Again, the margin top, the display, the align items, the Z index, the inset width, everything is set. Again, look at the project side by side code, look at the uh, project display and change accordingly. Then we have the projects, the projects part. In the projects part, we have three projects I just showed you. Let's make it bigger. We have three projects displayed in a card. You can display in a flex, flex box also. Then we have uh, first imported uh, the project or thesis on the project containers. Then if project's length is not mentioned, you have to return null. Then you will have a particular section on the project's grid and a project container. Then you can export the projects here. Then in the projects or CSS again, the max width margin. What is max width? Do you know? Like up to how much width? That will be in a table uh, in a phone mode, like in the the phones you are using. Uh, that up to how much it will be up to the phone mode, like responsibility, response the basically the responsiveness of your website. So this is the, basically the boundary line or the limitation. Then you get the template columns, you get the display, and you get the grid. Then scroll to top. Yeah, this is an important thing which I did not show you. This this button scroll to top. When you click it, I do not need to like again do this this this. I do not need to scroll manually. When I click on this button, it goes to the top. This I did not tell you. Okay, got to know right now. No worries. So in the scroll to top CSS again, we have the position is fixed because that part is not moving. See, with my website or with my scroll, this part is not moving. Everything is moving, but that is not moving. That is fixed at this position. That's that is the meaning of fixed. Then the background color is kept transparent and the display is kept as now. The JS part, we have the states. What is what are the states? You can just uh, in JavaScript, states are basically the different set of variables. It's not exactly a variable, but for beginners, it can be thought of as a variable. Okay. Now the toggle visibility is set, the event listeners are set. And the uh, font size is kept as large. And again, 
scroll to top css is imported and the, this is exported then in the skills part we have certain skills that we, i mentioned in small small boxes if you forgot have a look here the small boxes the script the skills i mentioned you can change your skills put the new skills delete a particular skill so these are basically in an unordered list and the skills are mentioned in a list listing variable this is this is unordered list means it is not marked as one two three four it's unordered then in the context we have a theme okay so the light mode the dark mode which i said you uh i said you know this one click it and you go to the light mode click it and you go just see the icon is also changing here it is sun and this becomes moon got it great now we have a theme provider value which we got the toggle theme toggle theme means what you can shift from one theme to another then you have a theme provider and you have a theme context which is exported then app.css in the app.css the colors are set basically i do not intend to change any color again if you want to make it pink green blue yellow it's up to you no problem i have selected a proper basic color which is looks good to the eye in the app.js we have all the components imported like header about project skills scroll to top contact photo i said you know each and every component is certified each and every component is kept on the on each and every uh, it is mentioned in a folder so basically the modularity of the program can be seen and this program is very lengthy so what do you need to do is you need to comfort you need to make into certain components so that the person who is reading your program who is reading your code it is helpful for that person and even you want you will be it will be very easy for you to debug it okay then you have this uh, all the in a components name here and you are going to export the default index.css again the font family the font size the uh, stylings the decorations of the text everything is set again you can change it on you in the index.css first we imported the index.css we got render from react.dom this is a must statement because in react we use render function so we have imported the render from react.dom and app from dot then the theme provider is also imported from the context theme and index.css by default is imported in the portfolio.css we have given the accounts like the linkedin accounts the github accounts everything is given here for each and every project the skills are mentioned here and uh, all the components are exported here the mail is mentioned then let's move to the package.json in the package.json all the dependencies are mentioned like whatever functionalities you are going to use the dependency of that functionality is mentioned here see i have used a react version is 17.0.2 the web vitals is this version so all the versions are mentioned whatever i am going to use that versions is mentioned here so this is the final code this is the final project which comes into picture this is how what it look like i hope you understood this project i hope you understood the working of this code For more interesting project ideas, stay tuned to this channel. Thank you and have a great day.